again, my friends. I'd like to welcome you to another video. And this one is going to be for this lovely lady right here, the SS United States. I've got a couple of um, artifacts to show you guys that come from the ship. And what's exciting about that is we can cross-reference them. Let me show you guys. We can actually cross-reference them with the Guernsey's catalog. So, um, because this is the SS United States, and I've got a couple of things to show you, I want to give a quick shout out to my fellow SS United States fan, Alan. Alan, if you're watching, I'd like to dedicate this video to you, buddy. Alan is a fellow fan of the SS United States, and we both have a deep appreciation for this lovely lady. So why don't we go ahead, I'm going to put you on the, uh, the tripod, that way there. Um, we'll be able to show you everything. We'll be able to use the catalog to cross-reference the, uh, the items. All right. First of all, let me show you guys what we actually have. This is pretty cool. This is actually a bar of soap that comes off the ship. And I had gotten this package a couple years ago off eBay. And the person I got it from... It still smells like soap. That's what's amazing. The person that I had gotten this from actually said that his neighbors um, had gone on the ship, and this was the um, some of the items that they had given him as a souvenir when he was young. And he listed it on eBay, and um, I think I had paid about thirty-four dollars for the collection, and that's when I had asked my buddy Alan um, if I had gotten a good deal or not. And he said, I got a good price on these. Thanks, Alan. And I actually was able to get my hands on the, the Guernsey's catalog. So we can check to see if it actually came from the ship or not. So we got the front. And again, I keep it in the plastic Ziploc bag because it still smells like soap. You can see there's nothing on the bag. So I'm not going to open it up. But that's just a really cool artifact. All right, let's put this where we can see. Now, this is what it was in. It was displayed as in this. Um, but I don't really think this is a soap dish. It could be. It very well could be. I'm not sure. But I think it's, I've also seen this listed as a pin tray. And you can see it's got the United States logo on the inside in blue. And it's like an ashtray. Um, but I think it's a pin tray. I think that's what it's called. But again, we're going to cross check it in the uh, catalog. But anyway, when I had ordered this, the bar of soap was in it. So I don't know if that's actually what this was for. But we'll see. So let's put that over there. And we'll put this right there. And lastly, it's a, um, a water glass. And I was led to believe that this is what was in the bathroom. And again, you've got that United States logo on it. Really nice. Because this, um, unless it would be second, or maybe third class. Well, actually, they didn't have the uh, third class. I think it was tourist class that they would have had. But I don't see these on the table unless it would have been like a water glass. But again, we'll see when we cross check in the manual. But that's still pretty cool. So let's put that over there. And now let's take a look. This was the official catalog from Guern Guernsey's. Um, when they had auctioned off all of the contents of the United States. Now, the reason that they had done that was they were trying to get some money uh, to preserve the ship herself, and they figured if they could sell off what was inside and get some money, um, they would be able to give her the proper maintenance that she needs. Don't forget, this is an ocean liner, and it's not, <laughs> it's not easy to maintain an ocean liner, you know, especially after all these years. She's still, to this day, docked in... Philadelphia and I'm actually working up because I want to get um, through the uh, 
the conservancy for the SS United States. I'm actually working on getting a tour of the ship with my wife. So that'd be really great. So watch for that. Let's open it up. And it's got the official United States sticker in the packaging. Okay, so when we open it up, um, I've done a whole video on this. It's really pretty cool. But I just want to give you a little bit of a rehash or a recap. It shows you the, um, the catalog itself. And we've got the contents. Let's go into some of the, let's see if we can actually find the glassware. We've got the furniture, we've got the silverware, incidentally look at the, I love the old pictures, look at the laying of the keel. Into the launch. Look at that big, beautiful bow. What I want to see is I want to see if there's a table of contents. This one almost looks a little bit like it. Let's see, is there, there's, there's no number at all. All it is is the insignia in the shape of the glass. And let's see, what do you guys think? Is that close? That one right there. B-35 glassware, okay, the sherbet glass, the juice glass, this one I'm thinking that this could possibly be. We've got the 19 ounce, uh, excuse me, for the juice, we've got the 10 ounce, the 20 ounce, and the 30 ounce, and we've got the 60 ounce, <laughs> we know that's not this. This could be... Um, it could be the 10 ounce, I think it could be the 10 ounce drink juice glass. So we found out that this is a 10 ounce juice glass from the SS United States. So if you're getting breakfast, you figure you got your coffee and I've shown you the, um, the coffee pot, the percolator um, from room service and that would have been with this and you've got your juice. Okay, so we got that designation. So why don't we look to see about that next? And they show an ashtray on the following page, but we know that that's not what this is. Hey, Alan, if you're watching, buddy, I think, isn't that what you have? Or something along those lines for that light? That'd be pretty cool. Um, I know you've talked about it, but it'd be pretty cool if you did a video specifically to that light. That'd be really interesting. You can see some of the equipment. Let me show you the first class ballroom, how absolutely beautiful that is. And again, this, uh, this new rig that I have is it's awesome, but it's pretty bulky. So check that out. First class ballroom. Who wants to go dancing on the, uh, the SS United States? And the floor lamps again. I would love to have a floor lamp on this ship. And if you give a certain donation to the Conservancy, um, you're able to get a tour of the ship and I think it's $1,200 donation you can get a tour for two and that's what I'm trying to do with my wife 
so we can get a tour down to the SS United States because that would be great to actually be on her before she's gone. Let's see, we've got the menus, and I've shown you menus in the past. You can see the gala menus. And I've got a couple of other things to show you from the ship. But those will be in later videos. But this is what I got as a package. Again, I got the soap, the dish, and the glass. And right now, the only thing I've been able to absolutely identify is the 10 ounce juice glass. Here it is. I think I see it right here. I knew I had seen it somewhere. And let me see, this would be designated as trays, pin. Yup, a pin tray. Blue on the bottom, and that's what this is. So, we've been authentic be able we've been able to authenticate that as well. So let me show you guys a, a shot of the pin. You can see some of the other glassware. You can see the, the ashtray and some of the glasses on top and our pin tray. So, we've identified the pin tray, the juice glass, and I don't know if they would have had the, the uh, hygiene products for sale. I'm thinking that anything that they would have had off the ship would have been for sale. So they probably had some. I don't know if that would have got a big um, following though, or, big, or a lot of attention for something like that. Because I don't really see it. Because that would be, I think that would be like a perishable. And I don't know if they would have had a lot. <clears throat> so when it comes to the soap, it says right on the, the, uh, the bar, SS United States. That's how I can tell it came from the ship. Because I've seen some where it just, it just says United States Lines. But this one also has the SS America on it. But I've seen the soaps where it just has the United States lines. And I've seen one that was solid with no stripes. And I've seen one with the stripes. It just didn't have the names of the ships on it. But I'm going to go ahead and take his word for it. Because this is old. It seems like it's from the time period. It does have the SS America on it too. But it does have the United States and as you guys seen in this video we were able to verify the contents from the ship so they all came together so it would lead me to believe that that soap was actually from the SS United States you can see the back it's just really cool I'd love for her to be turned into a museum The inside of the ship, when they sold everything, they really sold everything. It's completely gutted. But I'd still love to be in there. For the tour, I hope we're able to go to the engine room. I'd love to see her engines. But my friends, with the aid of Guernsey's auction catalog, we were able to identify a 10, an, 10 ounce juice glass. We've got the official pin tray. And we've got the bar of soap from the ship. So, what I'm thinking is you get your breakfast, room service brings you your breakfast, and you'll get the juice glass. Um, this would have probably been upside down on the tray and a little pitcher would have had the juice in it. And I'm not sure where this would have been. Maybe it would have been on like a credenza when you walk in to put your, your keys in. Or maybe it could have been used as a soap dish. Because I didn't see a soap dish in particular when it came to the uh, catalog. And we've got the soap. 
I want to open it so bad to see if there's any stamping on it, but come on, I'm not going to open this. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on this lovely lady and some of her contents and our little, we were able to verify that these in fact came from the United States. So my friends, until the next video, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.